Have you ever thought, why do we get so much crude oil only in the Arab countries? Before diving into this topic, we should know how petroleum is produced. Petrol and diesel are generally extracted from crude oil. Millions of years ago, the dead bodies of the creatures which lived on the earth were deposited into the soil. Due to the high pressure caused by the continuous formation of soil layers on top of the deposits, crude oil and charcoal are obtained. You may ask, at that time, the whole earth was inhabited by living beings, but why do we get so much crude oil only in the Middle East? Even though coal and crude oil are formed due to the deposit of soil on the dead remains of creatures lived on the earth, there is a difference between them. Coal is formed from the dead remains of plants lived on the land, while crude oil is formed from the dead remains of microorganisms, such as planktons and mosses which lived in the ocean. What? Does crude oil form in the ocean? If so, how petroleum is obtained in Middle Eastern countries which consist deserts in most of the land's surface? What if I say that all these desert areas were covered with ocean 100 million years ago? Can you believe that? But that's the truth. In ancient times, this ocean was known as Tethys. The rivers meeting the Tethys Ocean were enriched with mineral resources. Therefore, the microbes started to grow in vast amount and lived in the ocean. When the dead remains of these microbes started to deposit in the soil, the salt and soil layers too deposited on top of them continuously. Due to the high pressure caused by these deposits and the seawater above them, dead remains of those microbes were converted into liquid form of oil and gas. If so, how did the crude oil found in the land? The surface of our Earth is divided into several plates. The center of the Earth is in melted liquid form due to high temperature. Our continents are floating above this liquid only. Due to the rotation of the Earth, this liquid surface moves and hence it results in the continuous movement of the plates which is approximately 1 to 13 centimeters per year. Although this speed is comparatively smaller than the size of the Earth, it can create a huge earthquake when two continents tend to collide at this speed. 50 million years ago, the Indian plate got collided with the Eurasian plate furiously and it ended up forming the Himalayas mountains. As we have seen earlier, it was Tethys Ocean that divided the Indian and Eurasian plates before this collision. Due to this continental drift in Tethys Ocean, the land surface submerged in the ocean, emerged above sea level, and it's known as the Middle East nowadays. When this land surface got emerged, it carried along with its crude oil and natural gas resources. That's why the availability of crude oil is higher in the Middle East, compared to other countries. The 10 countries with the highest crude oil availability in the Middle East together make up a total of 5.1 million square kilometers of land, which is just 3.4% of the entire Earth. However, the region accounts for 48% of the world's total crude oil reserves and 38% of its natural gas reserves. In ancient times, there were several continental drifts and new lands formed as the result around the world, just like in the Tethys Ocean. But the emerged land surface was comparatively lower than the Middle East. Because of this reason, crude oil availability is higher in Middle Eastern countries and a considerable amount in other countries. We are not very sure for how long these petroleum resources will be available on Earth with the proliferating number of vehicles and depletion of petroleum resources. To overcome this, the world is slowly moving towards renewable energy from conventional energy such as solar energy from the sun, geothermal energy from the heat inside the earth, wind energy, biomass from plants, and hydropower from flowing water. However, the transition to renewable energy is good for people and the planet. It will mitigate climate change by reducing greenhouse gas emissions, improve human health and the environment by decreasing air and water pollution. That's it for this video, folks. Hope you like it and give a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.